Jaffrey after viral pictures of graves by, by the river Ganga. Is this now a clean-up operation in UP's Prayagraj? Take a look at these pictures. Saffron cloth, bamboo sticks to mark the graves are being removed at a ghat in Prayagraj. Hundreds of bodies buried in shallow graves by Ganga, by the river Ganga in Prayagraj. Let's go across to Alok Pandey to understand what's happening there. Alok, in fact, we can see what's happening there in those images, which is quite disturbing to say the least. Those shrouds being removed from those shallow graves. Why is this happening? What is the administration saying? Uh, well, the administration is saying nothing on record, but it seems that this is part of a cleanup exercise, they say, or sources in the administration say, by the guards. Uh, what has happened uh, in the last one month or so in Uttar Pradesh uh, is known by everyone. And we've done a lot of reports and many other channels and newspapers have done similar reports on how bodies have lined up either on the Ganga River or in shallow graves by the river, starting all the way from Uttar Pradesh, from Unnao and uh, Kannauj and these districts, all the way to Prayagraj, to Varanasi, to Balia, to Kasipur, and then onwards to Bihar, to Baksar, etc., so uh, there have been varying uh, versions on why these bodies are turning up there. Uh, the government says that, you know, a lot of the bodies are being, ba being ba were buried as part of tradition and that, you know, it is us journalists who are hyping the story up. But our visits to those areas have told a different tale. And the sheer scale of the number of burials that have taken place or the number of bodies that have been found floating in the Ganga is too much. That said, one of the locations where a lot of bodies were found buried or were reported to be buried by journalists was Fafamau in Prayagraj. Fafamau is a major ghat on the entry uh, to Prayagraj when you travel from Lucknow. Uh, these visuals, of course, went viral a few days ago. And at that point of time, you had the administration saying different things about how people would be encouraged to cremate their dead and these burials would not be allowed. Uh, what's happened uh, in these visuals or what's happening in these visuals is that uh, while officially, like I said, there's no version, but it seems that these were municipal workers who went to the Fafamau Ghat and they did two things. Number one, they took off the saffron cloth that was covering a lot of these unmarked shallow graves by the Ganga. And they also took off the bamboos uh, or the bamboo uh, uh, boundaries, uh, temporary boundaries that had been created perhaps by the people who buried those bodies to mark out the grave. So these two things have been done. Now, if you were to shoot this area from a drone, perhaps you wouldn't find a lot of evidence of what there is because you would only find sand and bumps in the sand. Earlier, perhaps, there was a situation where I dare say that, you know, uh, even the image of the government was at stake because when you went up or when you tried to shoot from an elevation, what you found was that there were hundreds of these saffron cloth, uh, you know, lining these graves, marking these graves, and that is something that presented a picture that the government was not very comfortable with. And uh, that is why perhaps uh, the action that has been taken in these visuals is being done. All right, so this looks more like uh, to avoid the bad press uh, for the UP government. Uh, Alok, uh, what's the situation as far as coronavirus is concerned in Uttar Pradesh, particularly in rural areas? Are deaths still being reported with COVID-like symptoms? Uh, well, see, there are again, you know, in a state like Uttar Pradesh, there are two versions. One version that the government pedals out or gives out, and the other version that you get from anecdotal evidence, because this is a huge yes. state. So there is no way that you can uh, build up a concrete opinion by your own reportage, because that's impossible in a, in a state with 23 crore people and 75 districts. Now, what the government is claiming is that their numbers uh, are coming significantly down from the peak that we saw in COVID cases in April. That's what they are saying. In fact, I'm trying to look for yesterday's uh, COVID bulletin where I think the number of, uh, number of fresh reported cases uh, uh, in Uttar Pradesh has come down to some 3,000, 4,000. Those are official numbers. Now, what the government says is that they have not, uh, uh, they, they're not lessening the number of tests that are being conducted. For instance, yesterday, the government claims that they conducted 3,26,400 uh, tests, which is a huge number if you look at it numerically. But if you look at it in terms of uh, per lakh population, it's hardly anything given that we have 323 uh, crore people here. Now, the government says that yesterday just 3,981 fresh cases were reported, and the state only reported 157 deaths. Now, these are very small numbers compared to what we had, say, a week uh, earlier or, a, or two weeks earlier, when we all know what happened. But, uh, you know, my colleagues... Uh, uh, my
my colleagues, uh, other journalists, other papers and television channels have gone to various parts of Uttar Pradesh. And particularly in the rural areas, we found a situation where there have been many questionable deaths, uh, if I can say that, given that no, I mean, in most cases, testing has not been carried out, or in most cases, you know, these deaths are shrouded in questions. That's why we, can't, we cannot call it COVID deaths, but certainly we can say that a lot of the deaths that have happened in the past have been questionable. Of course, the situation is better because you can't have a situation in any state. Whether that state is giving out questionable data or whether it is giving out transparent data, you cannot have a situation in any area, in any state, where you'll have the same intensity of a pandemic, say, over 45 days. That, that's not happening. So today, if you go to a crematorium in Lucknow, you'll find that the number of bodies that are being burnt at one point of time are much lesser than what it was, say, on the 15th of April, on the 20th of April. If you go to a rural area also, you'll find that cases or the case load is not what it perhaps was two weeks ago, but that does not then also belies the fact that things were very bad in Uttar Pradesh. And even now, the kind of data that is coming out of the suggestion that, you know, UP's cases are somewhere hovering around 3,000 to 4,000 uh, sounds a little less believable.